Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homestead. He wanted to do the update for the midsize tent and show you the changes I made and then uh, some of the germination we got out of these new lights on the top rows. So let me grab the camera. Take you over there. All right, so uh, on the top, you can see the uh, this is where we have new grow lights that I'm testing out. And uh, I put a new tray here. This is a gourmet lettuce blend. I didn't put a tag in it because everything in the tent right now is gourmet lettuce. So I've got a few tags stuck around, but uh, Besides that, um, this is going to be a new tray, and the trays that we germinated last week, or I believe the week before, I can't remember, been so busy around here with the spring coming, they, uh, this, is a, this is what I've got coming up, and so we've got quite a pretty good germination rate on both of these trays, and then we've got the other one, let's see, actually this is the one that was on the second shelf, so it's not as full as this one here, and the one down here, so we moved the two trays that were on top down to different levels, and then on top now, I've got my tomato starts. So let me pop the camera up in here. You can see I've got uh, the Matt's Wild Tomato here, the Montesino F1, Pink Boar, Crimson Springer, and on the very end, we got the Most Pitch. Squeeze the camera up there so you can see it a little bit. And I'm doing, let's see, for the Matt's Wild, I'm doing 10 of those, and I'm doing 10 of the Montesino F1s. Pink Boar, I'm doing 10 of those. And then for the Crimson Sprinter, I'm doing five of those. And then I'm doing five of the Moskvich. So I've got a pretty pretty good uh, amount of tomatoes that I'll be growing. And I'll be putting those around in different boxes and throughout the hillside and the yard and that type of thing. Uh, other than that, we've got uh, you know two new trays down here on the bottom of the uh, Gourmet Lettuce Blend. The Gourmet Lettuce Blend is really good. I mean, that's what this is what it looks like when you know you got the Gourmet Lettuce Blend. It's a really, it's a, it's a soft leaf. But it's really flavorful, and it's it's not it's kind of mild, so there's not a lot of bite to it. And Paula really loves uh, making our evening salads out of that, and then mixing in some of the kale. If we don't have a kale by itself salad, uh, mixing some of this together with that, along with uh, you know some sliced up basil, or you know you roll up your take your little basil leaves, you roll them up into like a little I don't know, you you roll them up, and then you take a knife and you slice them into like little ribbons, and you spread that in your salad. It's really good. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a cook as you guys know, but uh, you know I listen to some of these things on these podcasts that I listen to, and and then we Paul and I discuss it, and then uh, she either says I'm nuts or she goes ahead and tries it out, and we tried that, and it works really well for giving you a, a distributed uh, little bit of basil throughout your meal. But anyway, so we've got two new trays that will be uh, sprouting down here, and uh, we've got the sprouted up ones here, so we've got one tray for this week. We'll probably harvest on that one again. And the rest are uh, regrow trays. So we're gonna be mainly eating kale because this tent is uh, gonna be kicking up and getting our early salads. Because we do, in the other video I made of the outside, I took a lot of the beta mix that we had, well, pretty much all the beta mix, and I took it outside. So it's outside right now. And we're gonna see if it's gonna be too cold for it to, to take off or if it's gonna kinda go a little bit dormant or if it's just gonna dang right die. But uh, if it does, it does. We got plenty of kale to eat. But I wanted to see if I can start getting some of this stuff moved outside so we can move the tents over to production of other things. And then eventually, we're gonna probably take these tents and uh, I might keep the mid-size one going with the lettuce, but the uh, large tent, I'll probably shut it down for the summer. And uh, you know, that'll start saving on some of the electricity costs because I'll be growing most of my veggies from the outside. All right, well this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. All right, bye.